Yo, welcome back to your main video, and today we're going to be taking a look at Dragapult VMAX one last time before it rotates. This is basically Dragapult VMAX in its final form, in my opinion, as we can play it just before it leaves the standard format. Dragapult does have the attack max phantom that does 130 damage and then put 5 damage counters on your opponent's bench Pokemon in any way you like. Pretty good card against low HP decks, of course the latter can be full of those, but you can also do this against lost box decks, which are pretty popular right now. Um, in fact, I've been playing against a ton of Lost Box in, like, the past four days of making videos, which has been kind of annoying, and I'm like, all right, let's play some Dragapult. Of course, Max Phantom putting five damage is enough to kill Comfy, but we can combine that with Quick Shooting and Talion to put two damage counters extra on our opponent's Pokemon. We can even play Typhlosion V-Star with the Insta-KO Shermin Star, where if the opponent's active art has exactly four damage counters on it, it is instantly knocked out. So really good um, attack in com combination with Inteleon and Dragapult. We even have Radiant Alakazam to help move damage counters around but yeah this is the dragapult vmax stack in its basically final form before dragapult leaves the format as it is pretty good against low hp pokemon yeah before we do get in the video of course shout out to the sponsor card cavern tcg as always if you're ever looking for any ptcgl pack codes get them over at card cavern card comes those codes in line for the cheapest so if you're going to get any set code of course or you want to get a specific code over migration we well, for migration over to pokemon tc live i should say uh, get your codes over at card cavern if you do get anything at card cavern at the checkout use the discount code code ldf to get yourself a five percent discount on your order help the channel help yourself out and up a card cavern so shut a card cavern check them out use code ldf also check out the shovel squad down below just post a new video where we played Rapid Strike Italian VMAX versus the Lost Box list that won the 3,000 player tournament in Japan. You can also check out my second channel for even more content, especially a lot more post rotation content. Just posted a video uh, where I looked at a bunch of Rapid Strike lists for the rotation. But yeah, let's look at the Dragapult list here. So again, Dragapult is leaving us, and it was a pretty good card when it came out. Obviously, it has fallen off as of recently, but. We are going to play it one last time here, and I've done my best to try to make it as good as it is in the meta right now, specifically at beating something like Lugia. Now, I am playing two copies of Path and a Temple of Sinnoh to help against Lugia. I'm not playing any Horror Psychic Energy, which is something that a lot of people might be like, why are you not playing Horror Psychic in the deck? Isn't it kind of a no-brainer? Well, because we play a Temple of Sinnoh and because Temple's actually like a really good card in this deck, we don't want to accidentally Temple away the... Horror Psychic, and then make it count as a colorless because Dragapult doesn't have a colorless in its attack cost. So, unfortunately, we're just not going to bother playing, uh, we're not going to bother playing Horror Psychic. It's not worth it because you don't want to put a Horror Psychic on your Dragapult. Um, it just isn't a very good idea when you play Temple of Sinnoh, which is really good against Lugia. And Path the Peak, obviously, is just a good card in general, too, against Lugia. Um, I'm also playing Parasol to help against Sableye and Eveltal. Um, but again, we do have the Typhlosion with the Insta-KO. It's also a decent attacker. We can build it up manually with, like, attachment plus Raihan sometimes. Um, and you can actually use Hollow Flame, which is basically just, like, a a worse Dragapult, but sometimes better because you're actually doing more damage than Dragapult, but you're not putting as much damage on the bench. Uh, but it's mainly just here for Shimmering Star. In combination with Radiant Alakazam's ability, you can try to move the damage with Radi uh, Shimmering Star, but also with Dragapult and Planet Drapion to help against Mew. Um, I am playing a Cook. You're probably looking at the deck like, why on earth are you playing a Cook in your deck? Well, Cook is kind of cool. Dragapult VMAX, the whole gimmick is that it's trying to just do as much as it can, stay alive as long as possible, spread as much damage as you can. Cook kind of helps you. There's sometimes weird scenarios where you can, like, just heal 70 from Dragapult, which low-key keeps you alive for an extra turn. It's also here for the Lost Box matchup. If your opponent, like, gets a spit innocently against your Dragapult, you can just heal 70 of that damage and then max Phantom and hopefully, like, KO Comfy and stuff. I'm also playing the Rare Candy in the deck for the lost box matchup so we can like immediately try to get a quick shooting and Talion into play as soon as possible so that we can start applying as much pressure as we can with quick shooting plus max phantom which is why i'm playing that and the cook is low-key helpful in this video i actually used it more than i thought and again it's really good against lost box where they hit you with cram and you can just heal 70 of that damage and basically they did a 40 damage attack and then you get like a potentially two prize turn it's just a really good trade-off in this deck uh, we are playing roxanne heavy marnie just to try to disrupt the opponent as much as possible with path the peak and temple of sinnoh uh, let's go try a Dragapult VMAX here on PCGO Seed Action, and uh, let's play it one last time here before it does inevitably rotate out of the format. All right, let's try out the Dragapult deck here in this game. Hopefully, we can play against some Lost Box, because I do want to I do want to play against Lost Box this deck. Unfortunately, we don't have a turn one energy, but ooh, they're mulliganing. Helps me get an energy turn one, so I can get a turn two Max Phantom off. We're playing against a Flaffy deck. Hmm, that's fine. We'll see what kind of Flaffy deck it is. As long as they don't have, like, Force Seal Stone or Sky Seal Stone, it might be okay. All right, we'll see what this mulligan gives me. Again, we're hoping for at least an energy so we can set up a turn two Max Phantom. We'll see. No energy could be pretty bad. 
All right, what do we got? Extra card we got is a scoop up net. That is not energy. That's also not energy. Bummer. Huge bummer right there. So we're going to have to shred. Turn two, turn two, shred. Probably going to drizzle for like fog crystal. Maybe we can Marnie path. I mean, it's not all bad, I guess. It's not all bad. I can try to play around the Raikou a little bit. Like, I just like won't bench Pokemon, to be honest. So it doesn't do as much damage. Seems good to me. We can two shot the Raikou still, but it's just like really need an energy there. They could whiff energy though themselves. You never know. They could also whip the energy. Okay, they have an Ultra Ball. Are they getting Crobat? Ooh, Rope and Rescue Carrier discarded for another Marie Pie. They have one card in their hand. Is it a Professor's Research here? Let's see it. It always is. Yep, what did I tell you? They always have the research for seven. All right, did they get an energy though? Did they find an energy? Now they got an Ultra Ball. Okay, I don't know if they've done Fleet Footed yet, to be honest. Have they done Fleet Footed? They have not done Fleet Footed yet. Ooh, scary. Now, what did they just get rid of? A Level Ball, Zekrom. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we do play Double Big Parasol. I'm not too scared of Zekrom. They have Greninja. Fleet Footed. Did they find an energy card here? No, they got an energy. But, hmm. Yeah, I was going to say we can. I was going to say we can hit him with the Temple of Sinnoh, but yeah. The fleet foot into the speed energy is kind of cringe. I don't like this, because now my Dragon Pulse is going to take damage. Next turn. Unless I can Marnie them into a bad hand, which is basically our prayer at this point. But we can still two-shot the Raikou with, like, quick shooting, so it's not too bad, but it's, like, kind of annoying. We'll path. Dragapult. Drizzle. I'm just going to grab Fog Crystal. Just guarantee it. Well, let's see what we have. Yeah, I'll scrap Fog Crystal, sure. Probably want to bench another Sobble. I don't want to walk into a two-shot. That's the only thing. So I'm not going to bother playing Typhlosion. Not going to bother playing the Big Parasol yet, either. I doubt they're going to Zekrom me. I mean, hopefully not. Okay, we do get the Inteleon, but not the Quick Shooter. Kind of a clunky hand. All right, we'll just shred and hope that they didn't get an energy off this Marnie. I doubt it. They probably did get an energy, but we'll see. I mean, I guess I can lead them with, like, 10 HP remaining off of Max Phantom here. And, like, at some point, we can knock them out Quick Shooting. Oh, let's see, this is why I also wanted the Temple of Sinnoh, too, because, like, they got the Speed Lightning. Could have Temple of Sinnoh them out of attacking me here. Which would have been kind of good. But if I don't bench any Pokemon, this thing can't two-shot, right? So I guess I just don't bench anything. All right, they have the Counter Stadium. Rip. Hmm. Not the Shady Dealing, I guess, and figure it out. We can still get somewhere. Would have been ideal to Max Phantom then there, not do Shred, but what can you do... You know, what can you do? Okay, hopefully we can do something. I don't know what I want to do this turn, though, in terms of, like, supporters. I guess I could... I could play Cook this turn. Is that too much of a meme? Just healing Dragapult doesn't even seem bad, um, in all honesty. Okay, they get rid of a Cape, which is good. The less Cape they have, maybe the better. And now we can start targeting down their Flaffies, too, to knock out with uh, Max Phantom. So we have a lot of things we can do in this match, so it might not be too bad. They're spreading the energy out. Ampharos VMAX is not out yet on TCGO. <laughs> or actually won't be coming to TCGO at all. <laughs> all right. I think they're doing 140, right? Or 150. Okay, that was a really good draw. So let me check the deck here. So we can go Dragapult. I, funny enough, I could cook here, preventing the Raikou from two-shotting. Because what I can do is we can do this. We can go grab Net and Cook. This might seem like a big meme, which it is. But we can cook to the Dragapult. And now we can't get one shot by Raikou. And we can grab a Dragapult V. We don't have the bench it just yet, actually. I probably shouldn't have played that. We might get Marnied. Okay, I probably shouldn't have played that. I don't have a bench it because I could get bossed. They haven't played a boss yet, so... Okay, well, that's fine. We'll hold that. Okay. I should have I should have held that, but that's fine. So we can go... Go, like, four... I put all the damage on a Flaffy. They could scoop up net it, right? Spread it out, I guess. I don't know. I don't want them to, like, net the Flaffy or anything. Haha, Cook for the win. This is why we play Cook. Like, just random healing is kind of lit. Especially, well, mainly it's there for the Lost Box matchup. But, I mean, hey, it kind of saved us here. And the next turn I can bench Dragapult V. Okay, they are going to Marnie. Okay, so, yeah, I shouldn't have played the Fog Crystal. 
It might be okay, though, as long as, like, it does thin out the deck one card. But I shouldn't have played it. They do Marnie me, though. Are we going to get anything good here? We get Alakazam, which is actually insane in this scenario. We can go Alakazam, Temple of Sinnoh. We can knock out the Raikou with Alakazam. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Okay, now that is a huge play. How much HP do we have left? 90? That's pretty good. Okay. And there's that. All right. So what we're going to do is going to bench Alakazam. Play the Temple of Sinnoh. Play the Evil Wind Sense. Grab a Drizzle. I'm going to Drizzle for a Quick Ball. We're going to go grab the Dragapult V. Do I ever want Typh... It might actually be better to get Typhlosion set up at some point. Do we have... No, the V-Star's prized. Because so I was going to say, we have Raihan. I mean, I... I am taking a lot of... I actually have the ability to take, like, four prizes this turn. Probably going to just end up with three, though. They're probably going to promote the Flaffy that I put four on. Hmm, okay. Do I bother with Typhlosion? Very tempted to. If I just... But if I whip the V-Star, now nah, I'm just going to get Dragapult. If I had the V-Star, I would have went Typhlosion there. We're just going to research before we Alakazam. Okay. Painful Spoons. Knockout. Huge, big knockout there. Let's go. Okay, what's our prizes? Level ball, sure. Middle card's always good. And the energy, there we go. They, ooh, they actually go into the other Flaffy. All right, that's pretty big. Um, how many parasols do I have? Two. Do I still have my rope? I think so. I think it's in the deck. All right, we'll go here. We'll max Phantom. We'll Kale the Flaffy. I am surprised they did not go into the Flaffy with the four damage on it. Very surprised they didn't go into Flaffy. We just had a four prize turn with Dragapult thanks to Alakazam. That is that was a sick turn. All right, there's Quick Ball. There's Inteleon with Quick Shooting. Now things are heating up. Now that we have the Quick Shooter in play, I mean, it's not looking good. I think I have game on board, right? Because they have a lot of low HP Pokemon in play. I haven't played a boss yet. They have to Marnie me here, which I mean, I guess they could do. They could Marnie me, of course. We'll see if they have a Marnie. They have a four card hand. They can attack with the uh, Regilecki, which does knock me out. But other than that, that will be game over, right? If I get a scoop up net, it's game over. So far, okay. If I draw a scoop up net, we win the game, right? I have to draw a net here. Or I can just... No, yeah, I have to draw a net. Okay, unless they bench another Mareep, actually. They have to bench a Mareep. I mean, even if not, we the game's probably over. Unless they have a Raichu knockout on my last VMAX next turn, maybe if that happens, I guess it's still, like, my opponent might have a shot. Yeah, it's, like, maybe their only way to win. They hit me with, they hit me with Reggie Lecky this turn, right? They hit, put 40 on Dragapult V. Then they go Raichu that next turn and one-shot me. I doubt they're going to pull that off, but, I mean, it's possible. And now I'm glad I didn't commit to Typhlosion because, yeah, we didn't get it out of the prizes there. The V-Star is still hiding. Ooh, if they bench the Manaphy, we win. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't bench that Manaphy. Don't. Well, actually, I want them to bench Manaphy because I win the game. But uh, for their sake, are they going to bench Manaphy? If they literally bench Manaphy, I win the game. If they bench the Manaphy, I win. This forces me to draw a scuba net now. Okay, they didn't bench it. I was going to say. So, yeah, now I just need to find... Now I need to find a net. So if I draw a scuba net, I win, right? Because then I can double quick shooting the Flaffy, knock it out, win the game. Okay. There goes nothing, I guess. Scoop up net. Ooh, we got Marnie. That's not going to get me there, though. That's fine. That's not going to get me there. Wait. No, I do have game, right? Because I can Raihan for scoop up net. No, because then I can't do double quick shooting. Never mind. Okay. Wait, yeah, we don't have game. We don't have game. That's fine. We do not have game just yet. Yeah, escape rope doesn't get, win me the game or anything. We're just going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. I mean, as long as they somehow cannot KO my Dragapult with 280 HP, we should be okay. Hopefully not. I'm kind of worried, not going to lie. I mean, if they have a Raichu V, it could be over. This is where Typhlosion, this is why, yeah, this is where the Typhlosion would have been good. This is where Typhlosion would have been good. Okay. We're going to Marnie. Get rid of their entire hand. They had a huge hand, too. Got a escape rope. I mean, I could... Honestly, I could just escape rope here. Quick shooting the Flaffy. And then next turn, I just win the game with the Max Phantom. I could just do that instead, right? I don't have to... 
No, I think we do attack this turn. Yeah, no, the more I think of that, we do want to attack. We just kind of... Nothing else I can do, right? There's no... Yeah, you know, Kazam, shenanigans, not really. All right, Max Phantom. We're just going to basically hope that they can't win this turn. I don't think they can. Like, I definitely don't think they're going to win here. Let's do the same routine. Go one... I don't think that, that damage matters, but let's just spread it out again, just in case. All right, what's our prize? There's the V-Star. Might be a little too late. So, yeah, they have to somehow do 280 damage this turn. I don't think they can. Even if they get a Raichu V, the most they can do is 240 damage. Even with a Choice Belt, they'd only be doing 270. So they have Belt, Zapdos, Raichu. I guess they can maybe win. Yeah, no, they scoop it up. There we go. We won. I was going to say, because we Marnie them and just kind of hope Marnie puts in work. And it looks like Marnie does. We even do 40 damage that turn for our Water Challenge. All right, let's see what we can do with Dragapult in this game here. We'll see if we played any Lost Box decks. I do want to play against Lost Box just because I play against that way too much all of a sudden. And I want to be able to, to beat Lost Box. I'm just evil that way. We have a pretty good opening hand too. Uh, we'll see what we're up against here. My opponent's got Dunsparce. So safe to say we're playing against Lugia. Hmm. Lugia definitely is beatable. Do we have our Temple of Sinnoh? We do. We have Temple and Path, both of which we do kind of need here if we're going to beat this. The question will be, though, is do I Marnie Path or do I Drizzle for, like, a Research? Because I do want to play Path this turn. What if... Maybe we should have Quick Ball to actually get another Sobble. Because I, I want to Fog Crystal for the extra energy next turn because I want to make sure I'm attacking right away. But looking back, I think it might have been correct to actually save the Fog Crystal. Or Quick Ball away Fog Crystal for a second Sobble. I think that might have been a mistake, actually. I also need to move the Sobble out of the active spot. Oh, but they are going to Marnie me anyways. So there goes our pretty solid hand. Okay, we'll see what Marnie gives me here. What are we looking at? Any good any good hands? It's okay, I guess. We got Research, Marnie. They didn't do much else. Okay. No Archaeops and Discard Pile is good. Put Marnie them back. I think I'm just going to Research, though. There's no reason to Marnie. They didn't really do anything. Um, didn't get the switching out here for the... Dragapult. And then I didn't get Path. I think I'm just going to Drizzle to get Path here. I think I just kind of have to. Just get Path down right now and just try to prevent them from getting the Archaeops in play. This is my uh, best plan. Unfortunately, we didn't get the Scoob of Net, but it's fine. Because I did want to attack there to get as much damage on the board as I can before Lugia pulls off its thing. But we'll see if they have a, a way to stop the Path to the Peak here. Most of us just play Vacuum, so we just gotta hope they don't find Vacuum, but yeah. We can Marnie next turn, and then attack with Dragapult figured out. Okay, they do research. They do lose a boss. Fortunately, they did have a research, so I was kind of hoping they would also be stuck not doing much, but we'll see if they find the Vacuum Lugia V-Star combo here off of those seven cards. There's an Ultra Ball getting played. That gets the V-Star. What else do they lose, though? They lose other, other good cards? Let's see, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, they lose Luminion and an energy. Okay. All right, did they draw the Lost Vacuum here? Yo, one time, did they draw it? Let's see it. Did they draw into it? Three cards in hand. There's a Ranguru. They could Guru into the Vacuum. Here we go. <laughs> Let's see it. If they go Vacuum, they'll be stuck with, like, no cards, basically. Did they get it? Nope. Okay, good. So my question is, do I even bother playing Marnie? I'm actually kind of tempted just to... I don't think I even... Actually, yeah, I'm not going to play the Marnie here. That might be a weird play, but there's no reason to. I'm going to kind of go on a whim and say that their hand is dead. So we're just going to say no to the Marnie. We'll say no to the Marnie. Because that just that potentially just gives them the vacuum, right? I'm going to Marnie them into, what, five new cards? Or I guess four, because they put a card on top with Guru. Still, though, I give them five, four new cards, right? It's like, or actually, I would give them five new cards because they draw into a fresh new card. So I was like, no, I would give them four because they already have a card. Okay, no. So I, I don't want to give them new card. You know what I mean? Like, it just might put them closer to what they're looking for. I think I'd rather just chill out and kind of set up a little bit longer. And that's the plan. Just make them have it. Make them have it. They promote the Lugia V, which tells me they might not have anything. If they don't play any supporters, there's no reason to play the Marnie then. Yeah, there's no reason to Marnie if they don't have a supporter card here. We'll see what they have, though. They Primate Wisdom. They might be playing the Irida build of Lugia, which can find them the Lost Vacuum, which we do not want to see. 
No siree. They're going to boss me here. Probably going to bring in the other Dragapult. That's fine. Just retreat again. There's Quick Ball. Nice. So they are in top deck mode. So yeah, there's literally no... No! They have Pumpkaboo! Never mind. I... Never mind. They have that. I forgot Pumpkaboo existed. Okay, that's fine. Still, though, they are still stuck with no cards in hand. Now I just need to set up Temple of Sinnoh to stop this. Can they even knock me out here? I guess they can with Arrow Dive. Ooh. Might be a little sketchy, actually. Do they have a knockout? No, they can. They can... No, they, they don't have a knockout because they can't move the active. So they're actually... Yeah, no, they don't have a knockout here. They don't have a knockout on my Dragapult V. They can't move this thing and attack in the same turn. Okay. They could have actually... I think they could have taken a knockout if they went double turbo to the active, double turbo to the bench alongside a powerful energy. So they actually could have had a KO. I guess they just didn't have enough double turbos in the deck, maybe? I don't know. They need a belt to KO the Dragapult here with Lugia. Ooh, the boss top deck. Spicy. It's actually not bad. We can play that here. Hit the Lugia. Or we can just leave this thing stuck in the active. I like hitting the Lugia, though, and just setting it up to be KO'd. I think that's probably fine. Hit this. We have five extra damage counters. We can put, like, I guess four there. One on an Archeops, I guess, because we can KO the Archeops with Max Phantom. And we'll see if they knock me out here. Hopefully they don't, because I, I can't Marnie them. I literally can't play Marnie. Like, if I Marnie them there, just basically, there's no reason to. So I just have to hope they just don't knock me out. And it doesn't look like they do. I don't think they have a way to do 20 more damage here at the moment. So I don't think they have a KO on my Dragapult this turn. Hopefully not, anyways. Yeah, I don't think they can do more than 300 damage, so I think they're stuck right now. Because if I Marnie them, right, they just find a, they get a way to get Choice Belt, and we do not want that to happen. Do need to set up a second Dragapult, though, ASAP. I currently don't have access to We're actually down a lot of supporters, too, which is kind of annoying. We're out of boss, which is a problem. They can just retreat, actually, into the Lugia if they really wanted to. <sighs> Lugia, Lugia, Lugia. We need to find Temple of Sinnoh at some point, too. I guess they can. I guess they're all in on Lugia. Okay, there's Inteleon. I'll take that, I guess. We can... Well, quick shooting first. Knock out the Pumpkaboo. I don't want to Marnie... I don't, like... Okay, I don't want to do... Okay, there we go. I got VMAX. I don't want to Marnie just yet. I was hoping to maybe get a supporter there, but... It's fine. We're gonna have to play Marnie. This feels really, really bad, but I don't have a choice. All right, we got energy. I just got Typhlosion, too. Yeah, we can bench that. We can bench the whole squad here. All right, Max Phantom. Knockout. We can put one, two, three, four. One there. Putting four on Lugia so we can KO with Typhlosion. Assuming my opponent doesn't have it like that. All right, we got Sobble out of the prizes. Another energy is good. All right. So they will knock me out, but we're already re we're really far ahead now. Especially because we have game on board. My opponent has to KO Typhlosion this turn. Because if they do not KO Typhlosion, I win the game. With my insta-KO attack. Unless they have like a weird, a weird way to heal the Lugia. Or they're playing a big Paracel in their deck. Which if they are, then... Uh, I mean, I think we can still beat them down with Dragapult. So we'll see. But yeah, I think we win here. They have to just KO Typhlosion or play like a big Paracel. They could also go, like, Evil Tall, I guess, too. But I don't think they can even do a... They can't even... They could Charizard, I guess. No, they're just stuck on Lugia. All right. That's fine with me. And I think that's GG's. Assuming the V-Star is in prize. I think our last two prizes... I'm gonna promote... Okay, just in case, I'm actually promoting Dragapult. I actually can't remember if it's prize or not. We're gonna find out, I guess. Is he in there? He is. Okay, we're fine. I was just making sure. Yeah, we don't want to, we don't want to, like, accidentally, like, promote the Typhlosion only for the V-Star to be prized. So I just wanted to make sure it was in the deck. All right, we can just Raihan for it. Seems good to me. That's GG's. And retreat. Four damage. Yeah. 
Good game. All right, that's how you beat Lugia. Path the Peak is kind of the best card in the matchup. And also, you got to hope they don't have access to uh, one-shot potentials on your e on your Dragapult. But there you go. That's the Lugia matchup. Usually, you want to get a couple more turns of the Path sticking, but we take those. Path to the Peak, buying you one turn against Lugia really can make all the difference. All right, let's see what we got in this match here. I don't know if we're going to play against any Lost Box. We played against Lugia, but I wanted to play against Lost Box with this deck. But oh, no, we open up a Drapion. If we're playing against Mew, then it's all good. But if we're not, then uh, opening Drapion is pretty bad. And, ooh, they're playing Inteleon VMAX. Interesting. Temple of Sinnoh is really good here, I guess. Drapion, funny enough, actually isn't bad in this matchup. So let's type Lotion. All right, we have a lot, so we'll go... We have three Dragapult. We can get rid of that. It's fine. Grab you. Grab a Sobble, I guess. Yeah, Typhlosion V-Star is very good in this matchup. We can Faw Crystal for Dragapult. Yeah, we do have the Temple, which is good. We have Cook. Cook's pretty good. Might be good. All right, Marnie. Yeah, Drapion, funny enough, actually can attack in this matchup. So now I don't regret starting with it. Um, ooh, we got a Rare Candy and Talion. I don't know how good Quick Shooting will be. I guess it'll be good next turn to try to KO the Remoraid. Not bad. All right. Pretty good turn. Pretty good turn, if you ask me. Drago Drapion definitely isn't what we op wanted to open up with. We do have a rope, though. So if we really want to get it out of harm's way, we can rope it. We'll see if they're playing Rapid Strike or Shifu. Because that is one card that is pretty good for us to take out. Yeah, we do want to deal with this Inteleon somehow, some way, though. By going through it with, uh, with uh, the Typhlosion. I don't think we can do that just yet, though. They're benching, like, Sobbles and stuff. We can, like, pick those off with with the uh, Dragapult. Ooh, they didn't get the VMAX. Mm, they also didn't bench any Pokemon, so I actually can't attack with Dragapult. Wow, that was a really good top deck. All right, so let's just go Rare Candy and Talion. That was a really good top deck, though. Jeez. Can't knock them out this turn. If only I... If I attached a Drapion, I actually would have been able to kill this Inteleon. That's fine. We're going to go bully this Octillery. Actually, ooh, no, but if I'm going to Escape Rope... Okay. I messed that up. I just wait. Okay, wait. No, no, I didn't waste it. I kind of did waste it though. I messed that up. I meant to. I meant to actually. I shouldn't have quick shooted. Okay, where? I, I forgot I was going to escape rope this turn into the artillery. That's my bad. I might have just wasted my quick shooting. Never mind. I didn't get an energy. No, I didn't. It's a pretty bad whiff. Okay, well, now I'm glad I didn't do that. Uh, the energy whip is real. But I guess now I can knock this out with Typhlosion. So we'll just shred. We'll keep the uh, bench spot open for an Alakazam. Yeah, now I can... I mean, now I can double... Like, yeah, no, that's fine. Ooh, there's the first tower. Again, we want them to play as many towers as they can so I can get a Temple of Sinnoh to stick. Because when Temple of Sinnoh sticks, this Rapid Strike energy is shut off, which is huge. Hmm. Yeah. A little bit of a mess up, but thankfully I never got... I didn't get punished because I whiffed the energy off the research anyway. So look at that. Never punished. We have Cook, too. We can play. They hit me with Intellion. I can Cook. I mean, we can just go, like, Cook Max Phantom, right? Just knock out Octillery and just, like, yeah. Like, I'm totally cool just knocking this thing out. We do want to Alakazam this turn, though, so I can conserve 20 damage. Because this thing already dies. So I might as well just conserve the 20 damage. Which is probably what I'm going to do. They do play Urshifu, and they're actually grabbing it here. Interesting. I can... If I can draw an energy, I can boss knock out Urshifu and Octillery and take three prizes. Which I might do. Now I don't think I will Alakazam because then I can put the two damage on the Urshifu instead. Well, I guess no matter what I want to put damage on Urshifu, right? To one shot it with Dragapult. We don't play Choice Spell. We can do 260 to it. I want to make sure I can set it up. Yeah, we can KO Octillery. It'd be really good to KO Octillery this turn and get a Temple in play. But they already have the basic water on, so it doesn't really matter actually the more I think about it. Hmm. Yeah, we have to go Shady Dealing. I can't do Double Quick Shooting this turn. I have to do Shady Dealing. Go do a Shady Dealing. And grab. We need this. Do we just want the two prizes? I have 160 HP. What am I doing Cook this turn either? I'm not really scared of the VMAX. In fact, I'd rather them go VMAX here. I don't think we want to boss them then. Uh, maybe... I think Faw Crystal Path is okay. Sure. I like this. Faw Crystal Path seems decent. Yeah, it's fine. We're not going to bother with the Alakazam. 
We can quick shooting that. Because then I can cook here. Just, like, deny this knockout, potentially. I mean, they can't knock me out, I don't think. But just in case. I don't want them to have, like, weird shenanigans. Let's go net. Could get another Sobble. Nothing to quick ball away, though. I can get rid of the Dragapult, I guess. I don't know, actually, if I should have done that. Yeah, I don't have any Dragapult Vs left in the deck currently. Just want to get another Sobble down, though, because they can... I don't know. They may Rapid Flow. This is fine. Let's just go one, two, three, and put the rest there. All right. KO the Octillery. If they didn't have any energy on the Italian Temple would have been good there, but that's fine. There's the other Dragapult. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Never punish. Oh, boy. What do they got? They have five cards in hand. I don't think they can kill the Dragon Bolt. That was a pretty big cook. That was a pretty good cook. Cook is kind of OP, man. Best card in the best card in the deck. So they can. I mean, they can hit me with a spiral here. They have 190. I am a little scared of them playing Cheryl. That is one card I'm a little scared of. Is Cheryl. I do want to get to a point though where we do KO this with Typhlosion. I do want to make sure I can Typhlosion. If they go for the rapid flow this turn and they knock out Drapion Sobble then I can rock sand them, which is actually pretty good. Unless they KO both my Sobbles. They might. Mm, they might. I don't know. I don't know if that's a good idea, though, because then they're just... I don't I don't know if KOing both Sobbles. Well, it might be okay. I don't know. We'll see. Let's see what they decide to do here. I'm almost certain they're going to go Urshifu this turn. Okay, they got another tower. That's fine. That <laughs> Even closer to getting Temple Sinnoh to stick. They can't Yoga Loot me this turn, obviously, because they only have one Inteleon. They're really bullying my Drapion. They do not like my Drapion. There's Melanie. If only we played Choice Belt, we could have belted this. Ooh, they got two more Inteleons. We need another path in play. I kind of want them to do the Rapid Flow. Because then we can hit him with a big old Rock Sand this turn. Assuming they don't KO Sobble. Because I'm assuming they're going to KO Drapion Sobble. Right? Let's see if they go for the Drapion Sobble KO. Funny enough, Drapion can one-shot a baby Inteleon with a quick shooting. So I actually think they might have to KO the Drapion here. It's kind of a threat. They don't KO Drew. Okay, they actually keep Sob alive. So, unfortunately, we can't Rock Sand. Kind of wasted the double gunner. I don't know why they would... I don't know. They double gunner the Drapion and KO'd it anyways. Well, then, okay. There's Boss. Hmm. Don't have a knockout this turn, I don't think. I'm only doing 260. But this is, yeah, they're we're 10 off of KO in the Urshifu. I could insta-KO it, though. But I feel like we'd rather just insta-KO Inteleon. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to Shady Dealing for Marnie. I'm going to Shady Dealing again. For... I'm very tempted to go Temple of Sinnoh. The odds they... Okay, yeah. We're going to go Temple because the odds they draw... I'm assuming they're playing three tower. The odds they draw it are pretty low, in my opinion. Still going to quick shooting this. And then... Do I want to net? Yeah, it's probably a good idea to net. No Marnie. And I'm basically just hoping they do not draw their third tower off of my Marnie to four. You know? Pretty good hand, I guess. It's okay. Um, how much HP do we have left? 140. So they can knock me out of Inteleon if they can find an out to the stadium. They have 190. Hmm. They have 190 HP left. Uh, so I can put 5 on them here. I might have to put all the damage on this. I'm out of net, though, aren't I? No, I have one net. I need to... I'm also trying to set up... Okay, no, we can... Maybe Alakazam. I'm trying to set up a play where I insta-KO the Inteleon. I can't insta-KO this. I think we have to put the damage on. So we're doing 130. We can do 150. We can put four here. One there. I don't know if that really matters. Fine. Hopefully my opponent did not draw... Okay, if they have a tower, a Cheryl, and another Rapid Strike energy, that would be terrifying. They got the Cheryl, but they didn't get anything else. Sorry, beautiful. Mint. And, yep, there's the scoop. All right, I was figuring they were conceding. Looks like my temple did a lot of work. They were completely shut off. They had nothing they can do. And uh, 
That could have got a lot. That was close. That could have gotten scary. Not gonna lie. I did want to rock sand them there. I was hoping they would. I hope. I was hoping they would fall for the bait and knock out the JP on Sobble so I can go rock sand Temple of Sinnoh. But Marnie Temple of Sinnoh seemed to do well too. So we take those. All right, that'll be it for the video on the Dragapult deck. Unfortunately, we were unable to find any Lost Box in today's video. Just sometimes how it be when you when you play a deck that can beat Lost Box, the, the ladder doesn't decide you're going to play against it. But yeah, I do like this deck. It's a lot of fun to play. I really think the Typhlosion does add a lot of leverage to the deck alongside the uh, the quick shooting. Because I was originally playing this with like Bit Barrel instead of the Italian engine. But the problem with the Barrel is you don't have quick shooting. Quick shooting really makes this deck a lot more deadlier. Quick shooting really improves this deck a lot. The Cook surprisingly ended up being arguably one of the best cards in the deck. We ended up using Cook a lot in this video. So Cook is actually good. I mean, again, the main reason it's here is for the uh, Lost Box matchup. They like spit you or whatever. You just like Cook heal 70 on your Dragapult and then Max Phantom again and then you knock out like multiple Pokemon at once. But the Cook actually ended up being very helpful in this deck. It actually helped us quite a bit in this video, which was kind of funny. So the Cook actually was pretty good. I don't know what I would change about the list after playing it. I think the list actually was pretty solid, all things considered. Um, but yeah, that'll be it for me on my Dragapult deck. Playing Dragapult VMAX one last time here in Standard before it rotates out of the format. Kind of Dragapult in its final form with this deck. That'll be for me. If you want to today's piece of video on Dragapult, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe down below. Help me on the road to reaching 39,000 subs. Things have slowed down a little bit on the channel, of course, I know. A lot of people are just kind of bored of the format as we await Scarlet and Violet, which will be coming out, what, on the 31st? So, yeah, I guess be ready for that. Make sure to go follow my Twitch down below. I'm going to be streaming a little bit uh, near the end of uh, the, the month because I am going to be ready for the big switch over to live, unfortunately. And that'll be it. Check out Car Cabin. Check out the Shelf Squad. Check out my second channel down below for even more content. Uh, actually, if you want to see, you know, looking at a bunch of in Rapid Strike lists, uh, you can check out my latest video. That'll be it for me. Have a good day. Bye-bye.